So this is my page and we have developed it so far and I have created this thumbnail of all my articles that I want to connect to in my home page and what I need is I need something like this. So when the mouse moves to the box you have this graphic icon which is an arrow and as you can see this is a smooth transition from big top to, to in the middle of the graphic uh, box and I also have a text. Now this will actually act as a hyperlink to this specific page which is from my blog. Now I want to create this from scratch. Now how do I do that? I have actually opened another copy of this which does not have this particular effect as you can see. These are just simple straightforward boxes here and I need to work and create something similar. Now for me to start what I need to do is I need to draw a box over this particular thumbnail exact point here and then I'm going to fill this with a particular color. I'm going to go with my color scheme so it looks like this and as you can see the button state right now is at normal fine so this is how it looks but when it starts it should have a transparency to it which I can achieve from this button here and I will reduce the opacity to say something like barely 3 to 2 percent doesn't matter. Now to have that graphic icon of the arrow I already made a button and I need to bring that image into this particular box. For that I will again go back to the fill option and you can see this option called add image. I will click on image and it will go to my uh, folder which have, which have where I have all the images. I will choose this particular arrow which is the uh, battle arrow, uh, blue arrow and I will click on open. Now you can't see it because but it is there. If you it, it decrease the opacity you will see it. Now the point is just lying somewhere on the on the left corner. What I need to do, I need to bring it to the top. So I'll click on top and as, as you can see from here again, it is lying here on top. Fine. Now that's as far as the normal state is concerned. I'll bring it back to 2% or 3, that's fine. Now what I'll do, I'll change my state to rollover. So when I am in mean rollover, this option is going to change. I will see a bit of the of the color and I'll move this from top to the middle. Now so far so good I have achieved what I wanted to achieve. If I actually preview it all right you'll see that this is how it works but there is no easing in. Easing in is a CSS transition added in the latest version of HTML4 and HTML5 and we need to add a transition here. Transition which actually connects the arrow from top to bottom and this transition from normal to rollover will ease in which means it will slowly ease the, the exact position from top to the center. So we need to go back to our page here which is this. Yep. Now for me to add transitions the first thing I need to do is that I need to create a graphic style. Now make sure that your normal and this box is selected and you click on a new graphic style. You double click it, you call it arrow underscore box. All right? You can give any name you want. I'll keep it simple. Arrow box. And you can see all the features are here that it is in top center, the RGB, the background color, opacity, everything is mentioned here. I'll click on OK. Now I have made a graphic style. I need to add functionality to this graphic style by writing a code in the head of this particular web page. So what you need to do, you need to go to page and page properties and you'll find this area which says HTML for head. All your styling code all your CSS code needs to go here. I've already written the code in my note. I'll just copy it from here and I'll paste it and let me explain to you how it works. You have style opening, you have style closing. You have this particular class that we have written which is identified as arrow box right here. Transition, everything that is there will ever have an easing in for 0.5 seconds. And since you have to make it safe and make sure it works when it works with a particular engine, I have used WebKit engine 
I have copy pasted the same code here. So it's, it starts like dash webkit dash transition colon all 0 0.5 seconds and the transition I want is is. This is already here. I'll click on OK. And it should work. Let's see. So if I go to preview now. So now if I go to preview and let's see how it works. And as you can see, the transition is working right now. As so smoothly as you can see, the error is coming down from top bottom and it's easing in. Now, in my initial opening uh, slide, I mentioned to you that eventually I wanted to make it look like this. Let me show you how. I want to also add a text, something like this. Or well, you have a text also. Now, let's go ahead and add this text and also add a transition. But let me tell you how it works. We will add the text. We will use a property called hover and reduce or increase the, op or the opacity to make it visible when the mouse goes to hover. Let's see how it works. I go back to my home. Right now, I just have a CSS style called arrow box. I'm going to add a text over this box and I'm going to type in social media in classroom. I will select it, I will go to text, I will center align it, I will increase the font to 17, choose a specific font type from my web fonts, I will choose Ubuntu bold and I will change the color as well and I am going to make it a little darker, alright. And this is, please remember this is my normal state, alright. This is my normal state, the normal state should be not visible, it should only be visible only when it is hovering so i'll reduce it to one percent i'll go to rollover where the hover property will apply and i will increase it to 100 percent now obviously for this to work i need to obviously add another css transition so i'll select a new transition i'll double click it i'll call it text box okay now i need to add the codes to my page properties so i'll go to page properties and here it is right now it is only limited to my arrow box and i need to add more, more uh, functionality to my text box so i'll do comma i will put text box sorry, dot text box as well here so this will also ease in now for for the specific properties of opacity in my text box uh, here it is. I'm going to copy it. I'll explain to you once I paste it here. So I'll paste it here. So, okay, so this is how it works. So I'm using the hover property for dot text box, which is my CSS style I just created here. So it's for hover, and the property I'm affecting is opacity, and one in CSS means 100%. So that's it. Should ideally work. I have to close my style, of course. It is not closed yet. So I will close my style. Alright, so as you can see, I'm working on two two CSS styles here. One is arrow box, and one is specifically text box. And click OK. Now let me go to my preview and see if it works. And here it is. And as you can see, it works. Right? It works. So it basically means that the text the position can be corrected here but that's a minor change otherwise this is how it should work you bring your mouse and you can see the text and the arrow both easing in and using a property for the css transitions in the next lecture i'm going to talk about how you can actually put in lots of content and i'm going to show how i'm going to develop my blog page from further here on thank you see you until the next class